Hello and welcome back to the go with more EU4 Russia's Rockman to us push peace. So we are at war with Ming at the moment and we're doing pretty good. We've got a uh, good degree of occupation but we still need to get our ticking war score. We are yet to fight a single battle. They are in a very bad situation. So uh, seeing that they've got a couple of armies over here. Now we do have you stationed there for rebel suppression i think we should probably go ahead and put a general on you so let's just quickly double check uh yes we will remove you from here for now um oh actually this other army is taking attrition so let's move you there save the manpower and then i think that should probably do us some good yeah there we go uh 363 that's pretty decent let's bring you yeah, so I think we can fight them off. We have pretty good numbers. Uh, yeah, and I'm fairly sure we've got a tech advantage over them as well. So let's go ahead and see. Where are they running to? They are heading off to the west. Alright, so let's see if we can catch out one of these smaller stacks. We'll keep these guys uh, Yeah, moving over there. You're doing good here. Let's bring you... Uh, let's just bring you further across there. Keep these occupations going. And see if we can finish off this war nice and quickly. Alright, so what have we got? Uh, lose money or lose stability. Ugh. Well, even though we have money, we probably don't feel like taking out a one. You know what we can do, though? We can uh, go into our development. I think we just exploit a little bit of development. We've got more than we need. We could easily spend uh, a little bit here, there. Some of these are fairly cheap, so... Yeah, there we go, 350. Uh, one more. Uh, there we go, we'll take one out of... Uh, there, that should do us nicely, 400. Now we can afford that. And that is far better then uh, going into debt unnecessarily. So, yes, we'll pick that up. We'll do... Hang on a second. Uh, yes, we will uh, definitely go ahead and do that. Keep this war going. Uh, fight you guys. Oh, we found another fort. That is really good. Another colony is self-sustaining, which is excellent. That means we can continue our Siberian frontiers. Definitely uh, marching nice and quickly towards that coastal area. Uh, still have Japan to deal with. Can we? Yeah, we're being blockaded across there, so we can't deal with that. Let's bring you two over here. Let's go uh, one here and one there. Now, uh, let's make sure we don't get taken out by those rebels, so let's move on over there as well. Uh, they seem to have uh, decided they want to stay on the fort, which is in mountains. So, uh, yeah, let's quickly jump on that stack there. That would be good. Now, it looks like Ming has finally amassed their army at 21,000. Yeah, that's practically the whole thing. So, let's make sure that we are nice and secure in our numbers. Even though we do have the tech, we don't want to be taking unnecessary losses. If we can get a quick kill, we'll take it. Yeah, alright, so uh, let's merge these guys. Let's see who is the better general. Uh, you have Dimitri3622. That should be fine. Let's bring you over here and catch Ming. Yeah, even if we just win this first battle. Oh, are they gonna... Looks like they're gonna reinforce. Okay, let's pull you guys out of that battle. No point in... Uh, taking unnecessary losses and then since that's the case let's just bring you up over here make sure that we just reinforce properly uh let's see lithuania opinion goes down we gain local unrest and trade power fine by me we don't care about lithuania we're going to be coming back for their land anyway so if we can 
we may as well go what's good for us. Uh, revolt over here, that is A-OK. -okay. Let's bring you... Oop. Uh, let's put a second leader, or at least a leader over here. That'll do, and uh, rebel suppression. Make sure we get that all covered. Uh, I don't see them going anywhere else, but we may as well click all the way around. Just to make sure that things are as happy as they can be. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Alright then, uh, let's go back to the east and see what's going on. Uh, Chagatai, are they in this war? I cannot remember. Uh, no, they are not. Alright. Actually, does that mean... No, it's just military access. Alright then, let's bring you back over here. 30,000 should be strong enough for us to take on this, uh... Take them out. If we can get there before they, uh, leave the mountains, that would be ideal. They did roll poorly on that 64%, so that is a good news for us. We'll be there on the 21st. So, let's make sure... Hang on a second, that's our, uh, weakest stack. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, you'll be there on the... Day is that that is the 23rd that should be enough time and then we'll wait a couple of days and they should be there yeah a little while after let's also shift consolidate the reinforcements right now we gained another siege that is good for us let's bring you over over there that should be fine and let's bring you guys. Uh, let's bring you to. Let's bring you into that location there. Actually, you know what? There's probably another fort in here somewhere. So you know what? We'll send you here and send you there. It's for a little bit more territory. That's probably ideal. Uh, now we'll also need to. Uh... Yeah, that's uh, all good probably need to uh, go ahead and uh, just make sure we have the right kind of peace deal and uh, see when we can peace out. Alright, so 38% is what we're looking for. We need, what's this? Length of war, ongoing battles, all of that. Yeah, so far so good. Alright, let's uh, keep these conversions going on as well as working through our espionage ideas. Yes, minus 20% aggressive expansion is going to be very nice. Uh, I'm glad we got that before we finished this war. Oh, and it looks like they have uh, taken some incredible losses there. Uh, where can we go to chase them down? Uh, army? Yeah, let's, uh, let's run over there. Uh, let's see if we can clean up anything else. Uh, we'll lose a little bit of mercantilism. And uh, Denmark will be happier with us. Or well, we gain mercantilism and they'll be unhappy. Well, again, we don't care about Denmark either. We're going to be uh, restoring Finland to a greater extent than what they are at the moment. So that will be worth doing. And you're heading... Yeah, let's uh, keep on chasing them down. Actually, you know what? We can... Oh no, we're already moving across. Alright, we will get there, we will catch them. In fact, uh, if we're lucky, we might even accidentally pin them between our armies, which would be ideal. Alright, uh, we have... Oh! Did we just stack wipe? I feel like we may have just stack wiped. Okay, uh, let's find these two. These guys... Hmm. Let's bring a larger army. We'll bring them back for now. Actually, we're going to drop off the, uh... Yeah, we'll leave the cannons there. That way we have a better siege attempt. Uh, lose some diplomatic power, lose some prestige. We'll drop the prestige, that'll be okay. We'll make that up with this war nice and quickly. More colonies are self-sustaining, which is brilliant for us. Keep this up and a running. Uh... 
can't quite get borders with Japan there, but we will have it soon enough. And all India, more occupations. Yeah, let's go uh, bring you in here. That should be fine. They're not anyone we're worried about. Neither are you. All right, so it's just a matter of uh, sieging these people down. Ooh, and we have the famine of 1574. So, apparently uh, a combination of disease and harsh weather has completely ruined the harvest in parts of the Russian realm. Times like these, we may turn to the state or church for support. And, uh, yeah, we need to see what we can do. Okay, so, um, Cossacks gaining loyalty. Who's a base production lose again a stack of money local goods modifier goes down let the church handle it lose some progress in local goods all the others okay uh i guess i can just join the cossacks it's not particularly uh yeah it's not exactly a uh, groundbreaking uh development so if we need it back it'll be easy to get back there they can just uh Join the free Cossacks. I think that will do, and that will also improve our uh, position with uh, uh, with the um, yeah states, which is what we're after. All right, so let's uh, keep this going as well. Almost made it all the way through everything, which is rather good to see. Uh, we do have oh, we have you guys being rather clever. Okay, apparently they've got military access through here. That makes a bit of sense. Alright, well the good news is, it's not really a concern to us. We can't quite get the war score until we take them out. Uh, can we find a battle anywhere near here? Apparently that is easier said than done. Let's bring you... Let's bring you there. We'll bring you up over here. Uh, yeah, you're still working on that. That is fine. Right, and another siege is gone. Excellent. Uh, it seems that maybe this is a neighboring country, so... Let's uh, figure that out. You're already heading down? Yes. So we'll bring you down there as well. Alright, a little bit of uh, micromanagement is uh, probably going to be what ends up winning us this thing, so it's probably worth it if we can get it. Um, uh, let's go down, I think that's probably good for us. Oh, uh, you guys are walking over there, that's all good. Yeah, all that we've got to do is uh, keep things going. Actually, we should check. How are we doing for peace? Now, we can actually peace out with this. We have just enough war score. The question is... Do we want this uh, coastal port? Uh, it is in the Beijing area. It's only fish. It's not going to be amazing for us. Maybe what we can do is, uh, if we leave that land to them, can we afford some war reparations? No. Um, hmm. We can probably make this happen fairly easily. Or take a stack ton of money. Oh, that money does look good. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take the money. We're going to go for the money. Uh, let's, uh... Yeah, keep on. Oh dear, that's a, a fight we do not wish to take. Can we uh, retreat out of that? We can, so let us do just that. And uh, we can probably, you know, we'll bring you back here for reinforcements. Oh, and they've snuck around a bunch of men. Okay, well, that is uncalled for. Let's uh, call both of you back. Let's drop you back around here. 
And then, since we know that we've got you, let's bring you up here. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we're definitely going to lose that. It's uh, sad that that is the case. We're going to travel all the way back there, which is uh, going to be a little bit of travel time. Uh, let's make sure that they connect together, just so they don't get outnumbered. Yeah, let's bring this 26 stack and see if we can... Hiding in the jolly distance. Alright, let's see if we can intercept. Um, we'll bring you over here. We're going to bring you over there. Let's go... All of this is marked off, so let's try and uh, cut our way to the coast. So at least next time we go to war with them, we can... Uh, uh, we can embrace them with our armies in uh, more favourable terms than this. Dealing with all of this, uh, all of this is uh, quite annoying trying to figure out where they are and where we can go. Actually, if we can get our score, our uh, building, our sky, sky network up against them, we'll definitely bring them, uh, we'll definitely steal their maps. That is what we want to do. Uh, more things going on, that's fine. We defeated some rebels for them. That at least gives us an extra progress tick on the siege, which is something. Uh, they're heading here, so I'm guessing they have a little in the ways of options. So but let's let's explore the unknown territory. And uh, agent was discovered in Japan. That is no good. Can we get anything from them? Let's quickly see. Uh, yeah, no possible neighbouring provinces. Okay, well that is sad for us. But I guess worse things in life are going to happen. Uh, we'll pick up this one. Get that over and done with. That was a slightly larger one. But we should hopefully be able to take a really good fight. Uh, more colonies self-sustaining. Okay, that will do. Uh, here we are. And there we go. Now that we've got that, does that enable us to fabricate a claim? Oh, it does. Okay. Well, one claim is better than nothing. At least if something does happen to our spy network, it's, uh, yeah, we've used it. Then, uh, better that than losing it. Let's, uh, just focus out over here. Yarkland, that's no longer useful to bet. Again, not really our thing either. Let's run, oh, hang on a second. Rebels in Tibet. Yeah, let's bring you... Let's bring you up over here. That should be fine. Uh, see if we can... Uh, see if we can trap these guys in here by uh, figuring out where we can and cannot go. Okay, so this is a fort zone of control. Let's pop up through here so we know what direction they're going if they do escape. They did unfortunately take back Beijing, which is a shame. That was some very nice war score. Can't do much with something, so it is what it is. Oh, and we've lost the military leader and the one on our siege as well. That is, that is quite annoying. Uh, okay. Let's bring you... I think that's fairly good. Actually, can we split you? Oh no, you're moving. Right, let's uh, break you down into three units. We'll split here and here. So we can get rid of the first one that's already moving. Get rid of the second one and the third one. And take that province there. Okay, so at least we'll get a little bit of occupied territory. That will help. We now have the fort, so hopefully that will help lock down their main army. Now uh, we can bring you in here. Uh, come on. Oh, and we have 50, 50 spy network. Okay, that is enough. Let's go down to steal their maps. We are looking for the North China region. Uh, where are we? North China, 25 provinces, 50 spy network. That seems pretty good to me. I am... Alright, and now we can just uh, deal with the 
with the, uh, what do you call it? Fog of War. Alright, so we'll bring you across there. I don't think we can... Yeah, we're going to have to go through that fort. You can head right there. If we can slowly encircle them and uh, trap them behind a fort line, we can fight them and uh, take care of them. Although, uh, they've got some really terrible rebel issues right now, so... I would not want to be them if possible. Oh, and before we move you out of there, let's go ahead and pick up... Uh, you have two siege, so we know... Um... Oh no, you're no siege. Okay, so one, two... You know what, let's just roll up another general. We have plenty of power to spare. Oh, and a 4541, that will be good enough. Also good in a fight, and we are down an advisor, so we should probably pick that up. Let's go... Don't really need morale of armies, we're winning this abundantly. Let's just go ahead and pick up a level 3 advisor. 13 a month, can we afford you? Oh... You know what, maybe we do just stick with the morale of armies. I was going to say, uh, go for what's cheaper, but I don't think our military is quite so large as to require, uh, to require that land maintenance modifier. Oh well. Alright, and uh, bring you three together. That is all well and good. These guys are going to have some terrible devastation in these lands. That will keep them occupied for quite some time. No prosperity for them. Yeah, let's bring you up over to Beijing, see if we can take down their capital. Fortunately, we still haven't quite found their... Oh. Yeah. Question is, who gets the defensive terrain on this? It looks like the rebels get the defensive terrain. That is... That is outstandingly terrible. Surely we counted as we were there first, but oh well. Alright, global toad power. Take that, thank you very much. Yeah, now all that we've got to do is uh, see if they are stuck in here, which I am certainly hoping they are. Got some pretty good rebels. I have only 24,000 troops. Oh, and I've got to hit the pause button. Um, yeah, we should be fine now. As long as we can take, on, take them on in a fight and crush their militaries, we should be fine. Gain of free innovativeness, that is always good for us. In fact, uh, they've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good port there. Alright, Patriarch Authority, sure, we'll pick that up. Actually, let's check out, do we still have our icon? We do. But we are now up to 78%. And, uh, what's going on over here? Are they, uh, well, they have a couple of siege provinces, but our, our little subjects are doing good. Oh yeah, we also have you guys. We should, um... Yeah, we should probably pair you together. Siege is over. Let's run you on a, a province forward. Keep these conversions going. Good news is, if we do get a bunch of conversions finished, and uh, have nobody left. When we take over the land, we'll immediately start converting it to orthodoxy. So we have less rebel issues while we are pouring the land. Or at least uh, that'll be the plan. Uh, what have we got here? We have no guy's opinion. Don't really care about no guy's opinion, so we'll do what's best for us. Uh, let's check on these things. Do we go for the manpower? We probably should. We've wasted a lot to attrition. Unfortunately, losing these ports has not been the best for us. As well as uh, getting caught out by a couple of really bad uh, situations. So let's go. Let's just bring you up there for now. We'll focus over here. Uh, we're at 16%. They're on very low enthusiasm. I wonder... Maybe we should have tried to take out some of the others, but they're so far away in incognito land. I don't know if it would have really been uh, worth us attempting such a feat. Alright, let's uh, double check our suing for peace. 
Yeah, we have a lot less available to us. Let's drop the war reparations. Still far too much. What do we need? We need... Current peace offer is big. They hold Beijing. Yeah. Um, hmm. Maybe this is turning into a bit more of a pain than what we want. But we can take some money from them, so we probably should. Uh, we could currently take... What's this? 600 ducats? That all? Nah, alright. We're going to we're going to sit on Beijing. We're going to get this. In fact, uh, I'm kind of over this. Let's go ahead and order a barrage. We have tons of military power. We're only going to develop. And I'm kind of keen to get that over with. Uh, so we've taken you. We've got you. Let's bring you up over here. Uh... We'll bring you here. Siege this down. Hopefully, uh, actually, we should check down subject. Yeah, they're all set to siege. That's good. And we can also apparently afford military tech for innovative. Men. Wow. Well, we are a fair, fair way ahead on time. Uh, what is our current cap? 1498. That is okay. I'm not going to peace out any, uh, sorry, cap out any time soon. Come on, all that we need is this jolly, uh, this siege, and then we'll be good. So we'll move across. Uh, let's take out that single stack there from Ming. That would be very nice for us. Oh, they actually have a, uh, teeny tiny two stack. So let's go ahead and, uh, say hello to them. Introduce them to uh, 26,000 of our finest warriors and uh, say how do you do. Yeah, if we could just get this war score ticking in our favour, that's what we want. But they're clearly in a very bad way. They're, very, they're clearly needing to uh, reinforce their numbers. And so, yeah, each one of those still counts towards things we need. Yeah, we just need whatever we can get our hands on. Alright, Beijing should be good. Let's go, uh, finish up these. We may as well pick up the next one, which is my network construction. That seems pretty good. And siege ability. That will help bring down our days to... What are we currently working at? Well, we took Beijing too quickly. But that would be good. Uh, let's go... In oh, we've already got that. What have we missed? Mercenary Discipline or Blockade Impact on Siege. Uh, sure, that'll do. Not that we're looking to use our navy anytime soon. Alright, now if we sue for peace, how are we looking? We can go... War Reparations. Yep, that is good. We can then go... How many... Still about six, seven, eight... Oh, a thousand? Alright, so about a thousand dockets. You know what? That's probably good enough. A shorter truce timer with Ming means we can come back and beat them up and uh, get a little bit more money out of them, so let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll set that demand and that will do us very, very well. So, first of all, let's uh, check out how we're we doing. Let's cancel you. Let's go... Uh, we'll probably do this, uh, uh, 10 months? That's 1%, so I'm guessing that's higher development. And then if we give it, yeah, just a couple of days, that'll be fine. We did lose a little bit of, uh, diplomatic relational loss, which is sad, but we can bring you up here. We can bring you there. Uh, set you up there. Yeah, we'll get some rebel suppression going, sort that out, and you know what, uh, if we check out Japan, we can declare war, which is what we wanted. So we have a good 22 years, we can probably wrap this up fairly quickly, we may not get onto the mainland, but we'll be fine. We should have enough to take what we need. Uh, let's go ahead and pour up most of our land, we'll save... What is this, by cost? We'll do everything bar the next one. 
Yeah, so that's 25 development. So when we do get ourselves our uh, missionary, we can afford to we can afford to uh, convert that straight away instead of pouring the land, which I think is going to be good for us. All right, let's also bring this 17 stack. We can bring you back here. Start working on that, and there we go. There's that missionary. We can send you here. Uh, that is the... That is the land I'm hoping. I was just double check. Yes, that is correct. Good. All right, and now we can uh, just get ourselves ready for war. So, how many troops does Tan have? They have twenty-six thousand. Let's keep a twenty-two. Yeah, we'll keep the twenty-two and the twenty-six stack here. That will be fine. Uh, the 17 can go on Rebel Suppression. You, my friend, can start working your way back over to the... to the other side of our wonderful Mother Russia. Actually, you know what? We'll set you up against no guy. We'll clean them up on the way over. We're not going to need more than a single military. So, uh, that seems pretty good to me. And so, you know what? I think we'll leave things there for today. Uh, we'll go... Siege ability. Yep. Uh, we'll come back with this in the next one. We'll finish up our pouring and starting our war against Japan and their minions and slowly take up the coast as is as it is rightfully ours. If you want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Co. This is the Leviathan, signing out.